If you're only starting out with Zendesk, or even if you've been using it for a while, and you're still confused about what Zendesk messaging is, and what Zendesk chat is, and what Zendesk chatbots, and Zendesk sunshine, and how these things come together, well, this video is for you. Let's start out with what Zendesk messaging even is. You can think about Zendesk messaging as a hub for anything related to chatting with your customers. Now, this includes social media like Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, X. This also includes the Zendesk chat feature. However, the Zendesk chat feature has been getting an upgrade and it's being moved inside Zendesk support. Zendesk chat used to be its own separate product and now it's going to be part of Zendesk support. So you're going to have to be using messaging from now on. I even made a video about how to move from classic chat to Zendesk messaging and I'm going to link it up top somewhere. Okay, if everything seems to be kind of okay, then it starts to be a bit confusing because bots and chatbots are also included here. Well, I'm not sure, but this is how Zendesk framed it. And if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because chatbots do have the name chat in them. So it kind of makes sense that it falls under this messaging feature, which includes all chat related stuff. You could put it under the automation umbrella because you kind of automate some of your business and you encourage your customers to interact with a bot, which is an automated thing. But anyways, it is living under the Zendesk messaging feature. So you can use your chatbots inside your Zendesk widgets, which can live on your websites or they can live on your help center or guide, if you will. And you can also use your bots in your social media channels. Albeit the chatbots in social media is going to have some restrictions depending on the social media channel. Okay, let's get a little bit more confused about Zendesk Sunshine. What is this topic even doing here? What even is Zendesk Sunshine? Well, Zendesk tries to explain it and I'm going to share my screen and let's look at how Zendesk defines it. Move at the speed of light. Sunshine is the foundation beneath Zendesk built to help you create the best customer experiences. All right, vague as fuck. Open and flexible. Sunshine uses open standards and common languages so you can create customer experiences using the languages and tools you know and prefer. What? Let's continue. Design for agility. Unlock your agent's potential with low to no code tools and integrations that put full customer content at their fingertips. What? I don't get it. Personalization simplified. Sunshine is intuitive, so your customers receive the personalized, differentiated support they expect from your business. Oh my God, I was thinking about food while reading this. My mind wandered. Okay, I confess I still don't know what this is, and my only fault in life is that I am not a developer. However, this is actually what it's for. It's a playground for developers to create customized apps and logic that empowers and enhances the customer experience. I can only talk from experience, and I'm just going to talk about the experience of what we used Zenda Sunshine in chat. So in chatbots respectively. Some features that we use Zenda Sunshine for is to integrate Calendly. So a booking tool that we use in our business to help customers to help you book calls with us. So you can see that in a bot, in the widget, in the chat widget, by the way, in the Zendesk widget, not in social media. This is especially good if you're trying to sell services or if you're trying to book meetings with your customer, like in the health industry. Another thing we use Zendesk Sunshine for is to put Google Maps inside the Zendesk widget. This to help customers navigate to your store if they want to find you in a physical location. We were also able to integrate Stripe as a payment gateway in order to buy products directly from the widgets while interacting with a bot, so which is great functionality. Okay, now some conclusions. Now this move is confusing, but it's a move for the future and it's a move for the better. You keep everything into one roof with the send us messaging feature and it's a great thing to have, to not necessarily have to move all the time in different tabs and do different things. To simplify things for your agents so they don't have to always move to different tabs and have 10 tabs open and they get lost in what they need to do. So this is helping their productivity 
which in the end your customers will be very happy because that means that they will get support faster. The thing that I've noticed in other tools that try to do the same as Zendesk is they still have these features separated. So that means that they have a separate channel for chat, a separate channel for support, a separate channel for social media. So in the end, it's like you're having five, six other tools, which is a nightmare for maintenance. So Zendesk pulling all of this into one roof under messaging is going to be the consolidation that you need in order to make things more productive for you. This has been the short update from my side. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe. It would be very useful. And also, isn't it funny that Zendesk never sponsored any of these videos? And yet, I hope they bring you value. And if they do, please smash the like button. It would be very useful for us. Thank you so much.